Well, we have some great news to tell you about regarding religious freedom in America and a specific case involving an Air Force colonel, Ed Battagliano with Tim Wildman and Abe Hamilton. Abe, what happened here? Well, you have Colonel Leland Bohannon, uh, who was up for a promotion to a one-star general. Uh, one of his subordinates was retiring, and he was requested to sign a certificate of appreciation for his spouse. Well, in this instance, it was a man who was purportedly married to a man, Colonel Bohannon, who was a, a strong Christian, said it violated his religious beliefs. So he said, I can't sign the certificate, but he got a two-star general, someone who outranked him, who came in, who signed the certificate. Well, that wasn't enough for the uh, subordinate uh, military person who complained that that was invidious discrimination and it resulted in Colonel Bohannon being tossed out and losing his potential promotion to the one-star general. Tossed rank. out? Just yeah. For, just for not signing a perfunctory, uh, glad you got married uh, sort sort of thing? Yeah, because he, he said... Yeah, he's a Christian. He's a Christian colonel. Right. He's a Christian first. He's a colonel in the Air Force second. He said, mm -hmm. I, I can't in good conscience sign a something that recognizes a quote, wedding ceremony between two men. That's right. And for that reason, he was punished. But now the good news is he's being reinstated, right? Yeah, he thankfully had the, the good people at First Liberty to fight for him, and they fought for his religious liberty. And so what it was his seems, name again? Uh, the Colonel Bohannon, Bohannon Leland Bohannon, Leland, Colonel Leland Bohannon. U.S. Air Force Colonel Leland Bohannon. Yeah. Uh, Ed, this, people talk about you know religious freedom in America, and some on the left say, "Well, you're exaggerating. Christians under aren't under siege like you said that they are." Uh, the election makes a difference here. The presidential election on this kind of situation and what would have happened, right? Well, what, what would have happened to Colonel Bohannon is if uh, uh, Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Clinton had been elected, this kind of thing would have continued in the military been and common. elsewhere. Would have been common. We've said that kind of thing. We've <laughs> said that religious liberty was an important issue in the election. This demonstrates it and proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. I will also note that the... Uh, married couple, the, the, the two men, right. could have had a, uh, a superior sign the certificate, but they're not interested in that. They are interested in punishing Christians. And we say this frequently, these kinds of laws, these anti-discrimination laws are used against Christians. There is no real discrimination going on against homosexuals. And this kind of proves that uh, they're not out for fair play. They're out to punish those who disagree with their lifestyle. Well, the uh, rabid LBGT activists and the secular progressives, as Ed said, that they're not out for live and let live. They're out, they're out for find the Christians and purge them from our society, <laughs> basically, because their views, our views, which are biblical views on marriage and family, are illegitimate and aren't welcome in America any longer. That's the view that these people have about us. Well, thank the Lord for the victory for Colonel Bohannon. We gotta be ever vigilant and keep the fight up. Go to our website, uh, go to the AFA Action Alert, AFA Action Alert, and join us, won't you, in defending religious freedom in America. We'll see you next time on Reason and Company.